We are many. Those that live beyond the veil of darkness where nightmares are born. Sanity knows no bounds. And man thrives on the suffering of the dead. Rots in the solace in the souls of the weak. We have taken refuge here among the mortals in hope of a harvest for my innocence. Tread lightly in the search for the voices and stories of the departed. For in shadow hides the evil that lurks within. As the light dies and slowly becomes night, the realm of spirits rule the world. In the darkness of your mind hides your own hidden demons and brings to life your deepest fear. Do you have what it takes to speak to the dead? Do you accept your own mortality in the search for life after life? Have you ever seen a ghost, spirit, or demon? Have the lights flickered, and the room became as cold as death itself? Maybe you have. Maybe it was your own subconscious preparing you for death. Come spend some of what's left of your own existence in our search for the answers that are hidden behind the veil. Shut off the blinders and open your mind's eye and listen to their stories. We are they. We are incarnate paranormal. And what is up, everybody? Happy Tuesday to you. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys have pretty much gotten over uh probably the new year's hangover <laughs> you know taking two or three days to get over a hangover today's the third yeah three days to get over a hangover you got problems but anyways <laughs> uh we had decent show last night we only got two evps well one evp and uh one piece of residual energy which was uh a lot of rattling, about 25 seconds worth. Not too bad. Uh, tonight, don't know, we're uh, basically sitting on the recorder that's 6 hours, 17 minutes, and we got 50 minutes into it. <laughs> so we didn't get too far. We're scratching the surface. At this rate, it's going to take 6 or 7 shows to get through this recorder, which... It's all right. Don't get me wrong. Uh, we're approaching, we should be close to 50 shows. Almost at 50 just for night one. So, figure I said probably 75, 80 shows for night one. Uh, 243, about, about 200, 200 shows. That'd be insanity, but... We, that's what we did. I think last year was 200 shows. But then again, I was working so much, I didn't know which way was up. And we had to stretch it out because I couldn't do a show every night. Uh, today, for me, pretty dead at work. Not a whole lot going on. So it's like... Sit around, basically just socialize with everybody while you're working. And day's been dragging, but that's all right. Uh... Should know by the 12th or the 15th about the dates for Nevada State Prison this year. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, did uh, showed uh, that clip last night from the video to a couple of the co-workers about the laundry <laughs> Nevada State Prison. Mondays and Wednesdays are whites only. They found it funnier than I did. And they're not white. They're like, oh my God, Brent, you did not. That is funny as hell. 
It's like, that's what you need to do on your show to make it. You clip that and you put it on TikTok and you let that motherfucker go viral. <laughs> because something like that would. I'm going, okay, after the show tonight, I'm going to clip that out and put it on there and see what happens. Because you're going to get, you're going to get reactions from both sides of the aisle. But anybody who knows anything, they're just going to be like, oh my God, this, this, this fucking guy. And I'm okay with that. If people just want to, you know, do that partial face palm, like, oh my God, this is give me a migraine and be like, we got to deal with this fucker. I, I am okay with that because that is recognition. That's what we want to do to grow this stream. And, you know, all we need is that one person who can give us a substantial raid so we can get those numbers. You know, my, my goal for this year is 300 likes to the channel. We're currently, I think that's 30, we're 30 away. I'd like to hit 30 more likes here soon. And just get make it about of 30 likes, seven or eight of those to be viewers. I'm not going to be greedy. I think those are fair numbers. But anyways, uh, let's get on over to L working screen. Uh, like I said, we left off at the 50 minute mark. Hope you guys got the headphones on. Something cold to drink. Someplace comfortable to sit, and uh, yeah, you're paying attention tonight. Probably going to be a lot of birds for a little bit, and hopefully we get at least one or two EVPs tonight. If not, no worries. We're currently sitting at 146. So that'd be 420, 430, 438. If, if it ended now, just counting each night, if we got this amount. We would be right under uh, where we were on the very first investigation. And Dej, yes, you're here, buddy. How you doing tonight? Glad you're here early. Getting ready to start the audio right about now. And we're actually on your recorder. Uh, the H8. That's in the showers. Gee, it's, it's been busy. I wish I could say that. Yeah, you're hearing I amplified it, uh, what, eight decibels? So... It's got great sound quality. I'm getting ready to bump it up here just a little bit more in a second, so. It's got great sound quality, so I got no complaints. Let's get past this airplane. So what I'm going to do real quick is bump this up another, another three. It is a little bit low. It's crystal clear, but it's just a hair low. I don't want to see how far we can uh, amplify this before it distorts. I don't think we're going to need to go that route. So we're at 51. Uh, and it sounds like we're right outside the door. I, I don't, it doesn't need to be adjusted. It does not need to be adjusted. It's right where it needs to be. So that's good. Uh, I think next year, uh, if you bring it next on the next investigation, we'll leave it in one of the cell blocks. That's, that way it's inside. Uh, we'll compare how it worked tonight, or tonight, on uh, 
on night one and compare it to night two and night three where we left it uh, in other locations. I'm not real worried about the roaming recorder. I'm actually excited to get to the roaming recorders because the benefit of, let me pause this real quick. The benefit about these roaming recorders is you and I were within six or seven feet of each other most of the night during the investigation. So if we got, if I got an EVP, it should be on your recorder. And if not on yours, it should be on mine, you know, vice versa. Because that's going to make some very interesting in proximity to where we were, where were the spirits closer to? To you or to me? Or were they across the room? I am really excited to see that. But we've got, well. After this recorder, we still got five to go. So we got at least 40 more shows. It wasn't like one or two events, quite a few. And you ain't bullshitting on that one. That was a lot of freaking events. Wherever we're at, this is picking it up pretty good. I do not know where, where we were at on this one. It sounds like we're like right outside the door almost. So we couldn't have been too far away. So I am true. I am honestly hoping that when Susan has her meeting here in about a week and a half, we get the approval to spend the night inside those prison walls I am fingers crossed toes crossed eyes crossed and uh, just see if we're gonna be able to do it cuz I know right where I'm sleeping <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I'm bringing a bedroll and I'm going right to execution. Now, I don't know if that's people outside or if that's, it's distant. So I don't think this is evidence.
you know, at least one of the three. Uh, it's it's either going to be an it it have to be an execution. I'm sorry, there, there's no other way. That might be evidence. There's no more talking. There we go. There's our first EVP. Nobody in here. No body in here. It should be nobody, but it's no body. I don't know anybody that says, I know everybody says nobody, nobody in here. I don't know anybody that says nobody. So we, we got our first piece of evidence tonight. Let's get that saved. All right, huh. first one for the night and 147. Now, I, I wanna clean this up a little bit. I, I wanna clean this up. I, I don't know why, I, I just, I wanna see if we can get this a little bit, a little bit better. Okay, capture noise point. Okay. Okay, can we can we get it better? see if I can maybe do this a little bit better okay that's gonna make it hollow as shit uh, this might be bad Okay, we might get there. We've already identified it, but we have to clean it. I just want to see if I have the talent to clean this one up. Okay. Okay.
And there's an EVP at the end. Oh my God. There's a weight at the end. Those are separate. Those are separate. So now we got to save this one too. And another one. <laughs> Who would have thunk just cleaning this up? Even the slightest little bit, we would find a second EVP buried in the static. I, I literally got nothing. I got nothing on this right now. <laughs> but, but I just got to... I just got to throw that out there. Being a little bit conceited about that right now. Holy shit. And there's another one. There's a lot of ambient noise. Those birds are just driving me nuts. But we got another EVP. Uh, you don't hear the highway. Yeah. Uh, we heard it up in execution. We heard it in death row. Uh, we heard a little bit up in 12. But beyond that, no, we didn't. We didn't hear it like we did last year. And I think it's coming down to what recorders we used. So, like I said, the Olympuses are retired uh, yeah. Let's move on. <sighs> Three EVPs in four seconds. It's quality of the technology, yeah. I mean, you can faintly hear the traffic uh, inside the shower, but not nearly like we used to.
Let's see if this still works. Nope, I took it out. Had a problem last night there. Uh, hold on, what the hell? Where are my badges at? I uh, had a little bit of a problem last night. I uh, Somebody tried to hack my Discord. Got a notification after I went on air that somebody uh, tried to pretty much log in under my email. My middle badge. I don't know. It's not showing. Yeah, I don't even see your subscriber badge. Okay, we're starting the investigation. So you figure it took us one hour to set up the recorders. Exactly one hour to get the recorders set up, get back, and go out and start the investigation. And the good news is, one more EVP, we're at 150. Okay, that's just us talking outside. Had to stop and pay attention to that one. Uh. 
Yeah, apparently, uh, earlier today, Twitch crashed for like half their users. I was on lunch, I'm sitting there scrolling through and like a couple of these Twitch pages that I follow on Facebook, people are like saying, hey, Twitch is down, Twitch is down, Twitch crashed. So it's like, wait, what? That's why I'm kind of, I was hoping I'd be able to stream tonight because we've had Twitch crash on us before. But like you said, Twitch being Twitch. I said birds.
That's funny. Bad badges are showing on Twitch, but not in Streamlabs. Okay, I'm okay with that. So it's not Twitch being Twitch, it's Streamlabs being Streamlabs. So we are, let's see, one, two, three. We're sitting at five so far. Uh, the integration, I, after their crash today, I wouldn't doubt it one bit. Uh, we're sitting on five EVPs so far for the shower. Last year's investigation, we only got 15 EVPs for the showers. So we just need 10 more EVPs in five hours of audio to beat last year. I think we can do it. We got five hours to get 10 EVPs. At this rate, we're looking at 200 EVPs. Looks like Twitch is having hiccups again, too. Yeah, they have been. All day. All freaking day. But I'm not dropping frames. You know. Knock on wood. So I got, I'm going to have to go back and... Uh, make a clip from last night's shows from last night's show from when we were up in the uh, up in 12 and I, I, I they need to get some better server techs why don't you go work for them let, let you know let somebody who actually knows what they're doing do this shit you know Stevie Wonder and, you know, Ray Charles might need new jobs. I couldn't pay you to live in San Francisco. You couldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't do it for less than eight figures. It literally take 10 million a year to get me to live in San Francisco. Then I'd live outside the city and commute in. Drive an hour and a half to work every day. Oh, I have no doubts. I have no no freaking doubts about that. Just leave the recorders set up so we'll know if it hurt or not. It's not a simple double tap to the back of the head. She would make you suffer.
Only thing I could probably say about that is compound bow to the kneecap. Individually. Punch you in the face or stab you? Both? You should actually just respond with, you know what, I'm feeling froggy, how about both? And just see what she says. And hopefully she doesn't have the pair of brass knuckles with a knife on it. Because that would be classic. Oh, come on. And she randomly rabbit punches you. That's a keeper right there. That's definitely a keeper. I think that's us. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's Deads and I freaking uh, walking by. Yeah, that's my voice. Amazing how much voices carry here. Freaking insanity.
You know, I honestly wish drones were allowed at the prison. Not for the courtyard to go down the freaking cell blocks. I think that would be... I think that would be cool as hell to take a drone straight down the corridor of the prison and record it. I'm thinking about getting one of those like cheap like freaking $50 drones. They've got the 1080p cameras on them and they're they're pretty pretty substantial. All you got to do is lift it and hit one button and go forward. The turns would be what what sucks. Now, if uh, old teammate Jeff would come along, he's a very experienced drone pilot, and he did a lot of stuff when we were down in uh, Williams, Arizona. So it wouldn't be no problem at all to go through a hallway that's, you know, what, seven, eight feet wide? Stop, turn in the cell, go in, look out, come back out, go back down the hallway. I think that'd be pretty cool. But unfortunately, no drones. But again, like, I know the areas that we're, we're going to be setting a couple uh, recorders outside next year. For the simple fact of where are they at? Just for the simple fact of that. We got new new locations in the in grounds to focus on. So this this I am looking forward to this. Where John Hancock was hung. Kia tell you rides, they look pretty cool. I haven't heard anything negative about them. Where uh, uh, Guy John was executed, Andrzej Zamerkiewicz was executed. So you've got three areas right there where we walk past all the time, and we had no idea. So I'm going to be trying this out next investigation. You know, Kias have great powertrain warranties. You know, they're they're not gutless. Uh, not necessarily new areas to focus on, but at least areas to try to uh, try to do a little e a mini EVP session. They are outside, so it's not going to be the greatest. That's why I want to do September 7th, 8th, and 9th. September 8th is the anniversary of, where's he at? Right there, Mr. John Hancock, the anniversary of his execution date. So the original gallows right there, you'd think maybe we could get an EVP or something right, you know, right where the gallows were. So, and Andreas Amerkovich right here right up there on the hill, or right up by uh, where the original hole was. That's where the, uh, where the shooting machine was when he was executed by firing squad. And I think uh, 
from what I read, I think John Hancock and uh, Andreas Amerkovich are buried at Nevada State Prison. I found an article somewhere with a list of the names that were actually buried there. It's actually Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Unless I unless I was wrong. Uh, September. Uh, I'm gonna have to re redo the dates if that's it because it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, seventh, uh, eighth, and ninth. Uh, yeah, I might have just looked it up wrong. Uh, it's, it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 7th is on a Thursday in September. I knew I wasn't crazy. I just had to look it up. Uh, we got to wait until, uh, yeah, until it gets approved by Susan. Yeah, I knew, Deads, I knew I wasn't crazy, brother. I knew I wasn't crazy. Was I, I know I looked it up and screenshot it. I'm going, wait a minute here. There's a little something, a little fishy here. There's another AVP. Why? We got to clean this up. <laughs> we definitely got to clean this up. Uh, yeah, that, why? It sounds like, like, we know there was at least three or four people killed in the shower. One of them was stabbed to death. And that's the one uh, I think Joe was talking about early on in the recorder that I guess he was up for release and it got out that he'd like, he had molested a child or something and they stabbed him to death. I think we were the only ones in there. Yes. Uh, I think we might have been the only ones in there minus night three. I am not a hundred percent. We were the only ones in most areas on night one. <laughs> that's that's a that's a given. And that sucked. Well, there was only what five of us, six of us on night one. <laughs> night two was even better. See if we can uh, get that.
Yeah, that is odd. Yeah, Dad, you're right. Culinary, infirmary, uh, death row, and execution. So what we want to do is go in there again if we can. Actually, I don't want to do it that way. I don't know why I don't want to do it that way. Uh, let's see. Let's try it this way. Okay, there's... There's some whispers in there. So now here's the shit part. Uh, uh, we're going to have to stretch this out. We're going to have to fucking stretch this thing out now. Now that we've caught whispers in here, it's not only the why, it's freaking whispers. Uh, Jesus, this is going to make it tough. And here I thought we were going to have an easy stream tonight. Just isn't so. But that's all right. That's definitely all right. Uh... Well, uh, we're going to get two out of this. I don't think we're going to get the whispers. Because this is, th these whispers are low. Okay, I got, uh, I got, there's three voices here. There's three freaking voices. Why? You coward and you did it. Pay attention right after the, that creak of the door. You're going to hear, you coward. Right after the creak of the door. Pay attention. Jesus. Holy shit. Yes.
Yeah, I'm getting chills on this one. I'm getting chills. I want to see if we can... Will this work, maybe? Whoa, there's a fourth one. Right at the beginning, there's a fourth one. Oh, there's four of them. Holy shit. Uh, okay, let's try this. Try five. I think that'll be enough. You're a bastard. That first one's you're a bastard. Okay, what I'm thinking, this is, you're a bastard, why, you coward, you did it. There's four different voices here. Wow. <laughs> Four EVPs off this. David, you put that mildly. We, we've had a fair, fairly good night. I mean, one, two, we already had three. We had three EVPs. Up until this point. Five total for the for so far in this recorder. We're in uh what hour and twenty one hour and twenty two minutes into this recorder. We had five up until this this potion this portion. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine in an hour and 22 minutes. Let's get this saved. Yeah, that's <laughs> one, two, three, and four. <laughs> that's 
I have four EVPs. Last year we had five, but it was from two voices. Uh, and that was gotten up in uh, in cell block 10 when we had two spirits, one warning the other not to go down to the down to culinary. This is three spirits murdering somebody else. You know, it's like, you're a bastard. Why? You coward. You did it. You're a bastard. Why? You coward. You did it. Uh, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. That's a setup for, for something huh, not so nice. Holy shit, you guys. Uh, I, this is this is for the spirits of the prison right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this a couple times just so I can get the record. Moving along. We're at one fifty three. These are usually the ones that put us right back on track, and I love every second of it. It's like, yeah, we're not getting a lot tonight. We're not getting, wait, what? It's like, huh? It's like, yeah, we're we're uh, we're we're doing good now. Not gonna be as good as Friday though, when we got twenty two. Who's got a 20 gauge like right outside the door and just scatter those birds? Get him the hell out of there. This isn't Wild Kingdom. Perfect lovely cookie one hand. What? Perfectly lovely cookie one hand. Whatever. <laughs> just whatever. What a night on that. Oh my God. It's more than enough to make you chuckle. It's enough to make you cringe. It's like...
All right, David. Uh, I had you muted. Uh, appreciate you being here, even if you're lurking. Thank you. Yeah, fall asleep to the sounds of the spirits. Don't worry. They won't haunt you much. So now, I was actually just getting ready to hit that button too. I was literally, I was literally reaching for it. So I won't, I won't hit it, but I will hit this one. I am Lucifer, the devil in the flesh. That one I will hit. But I won't do Scary Lady. Deads doesn't have the controls for Scary Lady. It's only way I controlled is on my st on my stream deck. But he he can play uh, use channel points for uh, scary noises. Remember that one. That I'm gonna turn that down just in case. So did I turn those back on? Bear with me a second, guys. Yes, I did. The bits, that's what I was expecting. That's what I was expecting, dads, thank you. Now, if, I'm not going to ruin the last one. I put two new ones in there. I put two new ones in there. Which was... Ducky and uh, Ducky and Voorhees. The Voorhees one is more of a parody. I'm just warning you. Voorhees. <laughs> I, I got bored one day and I'm like, what would make a creepy freaking sound Jason meets deliverance the banjo and Friday the 13th sound it's like uh, I, I gotta screw loose I, I do to even come up with something like that it's like Brent what are you doing <laughs> it's like my god <laughs> dueling banjos and Jason Voorhees. Just imagine that movie. Jason walks into the forest and here's the banjos going. I mean, like, Jason be like, oh shit.
Yeah, but I'll, I'll be honest. The knock is what gets me the most. Because it comes strong in on the right side. And my door is to my right. So, it, it, honestly, I, I the first time I got hit with it, I got up and checked my door. <laughs> Scream for me, piggy. <laughs> I might have to add that into there. Dun, 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 dun. Scream for me, piggy. Oh, that would be great. Oh, I think that might work. airplane Let's get past that Six to go. Uh, six evps to beat last year uh we only got 15 evps last year in the showers uh we only we need and yeah, we need six more to go to beat or to tie it uh seven to beat it as far as recorders to go we have one two three four we have well we also have six more recorders to go uh this one included so after this we got five to go because we're only hour and a half into six hours and 17 minutes so total of six to go including this one and that's just night one <laughs> and we're still night one we're already at 153 evps 
So if, if it ended right now and we counted up three nights as we sit, so this is in the showers, yes. This is in the original showers. And as it sits, it might be five recorders. Uh, one of the recorders had a problem with the audio on night one. So we might be at five recorders. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Yeah, from what uh, I think it was Joe was saying early on in the recorder, uh, like four people died in the showers that they know of or that he knew of. Uh, three people were hung and one person that we got, it sounds like one was stabbed to death, which I think is the EVP we got. Because I've no, I, I don't think I've ever heard four different EVPs by four different spirits you know, on the same batch. That, that just, I've never heard of that. And this kind of activity, and this is only night one, I'm, like I said, I'm anticipating probably close to seven or 800 EVPs. Susan's gonna have a book for next time. <laughs> and a, I mean a legitimate book. I'd say a combination of both. Uh, we got an intelligent one very first off that said, I'm here. So that'd be intelligent. Hello would be intelligent. Uh, nobody in here would be intelligent. Uh, why you coward, you did it. And you're a bastard. Uh, those probably are residual. So about 60, 40 right now. Which I'm okay with. They're EVPs. <laughs> I think most of these, the most of the EVPs are residual in nature. Minus some of the ones we got in execution and some of the stuff we had up in 12. I think those are intelligent. Nobody in here, that ghost isn't fooling anyone. You ain't lying. <laughs> you're, you're spot on. Nobody in here. Or if the residual side, uh, is that a prisoner talking to a guard so they could commit the murder? Hey, nobody's in here. Guard's okay be on his way so it, it's a it's a tr that one's a tricky EVP is it residual of a spirit telling a guard there's nobody in here so they could you know get somebody lured in there to murder him it is possible you know you think about those weird angles and possibilities but then it could be like another spirit it's like nope nobody here you're wasting your time it's possible. Like, uh, what was it? The, my first year, the EVP that we got that still, I think, uh, it's probably one of my favorites was up was up in uh, execution uh, last night cells uh, EVP was I killed the bitch and put her body out behind the trash pile 
That was the EVP we got. You talk about skin crawling on that one. I think we spent an hour on that EVP. That might be Susan in the background. Uh, even more incredible about that one, when I got that EVP, after the show, I went and did the research on every crime or every murder uh, that led to the prisoners uh, being basically put in death row. Only one of the, only one of the, basically the prisoners killed a woman and put her body outside in the trash and that was Edward Carroll Cole and that's the one you see second in for me on the left that's Carol, Edward Carroll Cole he killed Bonnie Sue O'Neill uh, put her clothes in the dumpster and put her body next to the dumpster he put her body out by the trash pile by the dumpster. I actually did all the research to narrow it down to the victim. Following year, I asked the question, was the woman you were talking about Miss Bonnie Sue O'Neill? And we got a response of yes. Guy on Friday that said he was here, yes, yes. Yeah, it's a team outside. Imagine being the garbage man that day, right? Not bad enough seeing a body next to the dumpster, but her bloody clothes. I mean, that, that's got to be brutal.
yeah, they're still without power. <laughs> I I saw that from her today. <laughs> She's been without power for like two or three days. Absolutely terrible. They're getting nailed with weather up there. And you wouldn't think that up in Carson. Oh, okay, guys. Uh, <laughs> let's back over. We've we've had a very very productive t night tonight with EVPs. Uh, let's review this. Uh, nobody in here, followed by a wait. Uh, hello. Uh, you're a bastard. Why you coward? You did it. So we we got. A four-piece EVP that is one for the books. <laughs> but the other one, nobody in here. And that, that one kind of got me a little bit and just wanted to clean it up a little bit more and find another EVP hidden at the end of no, nobody in here. Then we get a wait. Like, yeah, one spirit saying there's nobody in here. A second one saying, wait, we're in here. Come back. You know, that's... That is in itself is just phenomenal that you decide just let's clean this up a little bit more and see what we can find. And lo and behold, there's another EVP. Doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it's relevant. <laughs> but guys, tonight's been great. Tonight has, it, it energizes you a little bit because you have those slow nights where it's like, okay, we're not getting anything. And then boom. Okay, let's w w wait. W what's next? And we've got where an hour 45 into this recorder out of six hours, 17 minutes. So I've got another five, four, four hours and four and a half hours left on this recorder. We got a long way to go and we need what I say, six more EVPs to tie, seven to break last year. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. Hell or high water, we're going to get it. Even if I have to make up EVP. No, I'm not going to make up EVPs. Even if we come close, I'm not going to be disappointed. We're still well above par. Guys, thank you so much for being here, spending you know, an hour and a half analyzing audio we got we we had a productive night deads david i thank you guys so much and everybody else it's either lurking or watching on youtube later if you're watching on youtube later please drag your asses over to twitch incarnate paranormal on twitch come watch live join in the fun join in the shenanigans <laughs> anyways guys have a great night God bless. See you guys tomorrow night. Y'all take care.